Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Yeah, and I do hope you are all doing well today and welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video, which is something a little bit different. I wanted to do a statistical comparison of three players looking into next season and beyond. With the reported agreement between Chelsea Football Club and Timo Werner, the arrival of the young German forward slash winger would mean Chelsea's quality has gone up loads. Also, other notable additions are being made to Frank Lampard's Chelsea and he's looking to challenge the likes of Liverpool and Manchester City at the top of the table. So, with that in mind, I wanted to do a statistical comparison between wide forwards that have also sort of played down the middle, a little bit firm Raheem Sterling because he's only done it a couple of times, but often these forwards are moving around. I've chosen Timo Werner of hopefully Chelsea, Mohamed Salah of Liverpool and Raheem Sterling of Manchester City. I want to compare Werner to these two other players because of course they play for the aforementioned Liverpool and Manchester City, the two clubs that Chelsea are trying to close the gap from. So I've done a statistical comparison that I'm going to show you in this video and a quick disclaimer of course, Timo Werner plays in the Bundesliga in Germany. Now, the Bundesliga is a very high level of football. Granted, it's not the Premier League, but it's not like Liga Nosch or the Eredivisie. It's an excellent football league. And if you look at the likes of Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, who was very similar to Timo Werner when he was in Germany, he had no problems at all converting his skills to the Premier League. And they're a very similar player profile. So there's my disclaimer. Other than that, I'm going to compare all their statistics, or at least relevant ones for the kind of players they are, in this video. But before I get into that, a quick reminder to you, the viewer, to subscribe if you've not yet done so. Hey, only if you want to, man, but the majority of my viewers are not subscribed. There's a recurring bunch of you that keep coming back that don't subscribe to Football Therapy. Yes, you know I'm talking to you, mate, so please do me a favour, drop a sub, hit that all-important bell notifications icon because I upload every single day man and if you want to do me a favor please why not drop a like on this video all right then let's get into it so yes quick reminder the three players we're talking about today are Timo Werner the young German winger forward 24 years old and the youngest of the three Raheem Sterling the young English winger who's 25 years old and the oldest of the bunch is Mohamed Salah the Egyptian 27 year old. So to compare their offensive metrics, we're gonna have to dust off the old statistic screen and have a ganders. Whoosh, here we are, this old thing, it's been a while. Let's take a look at the three players metrics that we're talking about in this video. All these players play in attacking teams that need to score a lot of goals. So let's start with the bread and butter, the most important of them all, goals. Coming in at the bottom of the list is champions of England, Raheem Sterling with a very respectable 11 goals from the wing this season. He's exceeded double digits. It's a pretty handsome return. 11 goals is decent for old Raz. In second place, it is the Egyptian king, Mohamed Salah, with a very serviceable 16 goals in the Premier League this season. Indeed, a handsome return. But of course, coming in at an absolute madness, it is the youngest of the bunch, young Timo Werner, with 25 goals in the Bundesliga this season. And indeed, the campaign is still going. So, Timo Werner wins. Ding, 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 ding. Let's move over to assists. Raheem Sterling is third in this too, and I was quite surprised to see he's only actually got one assist this season. Well, for a creative player that does like playing in, you know, the midfield as an Aguero and stuff, it does shock me, but yeah, just one assist assist for Raheem Sterling this season. Mohamed Salah has always been a bit more of a goal scorer but he has got six assists this season as well which is pretty darn good. Not amazing but very serviceable indeed. And coming up trumps again is Timo Werner with a rocking eight assists to go with his 25 goals this season making for 33 league goal involvements and the league hasn't even finished so Goals and assists, Timo Werner blows both Raheem Sterling and Mohamed Salah out of the water. When it comes to shots per game, both Timo Werner and Mohamed Salah 
are taking 3.8 shots per game and Raheem Sterling's taking 3 shots per game. All a decent amount with Pep Guardiola's Manchester City, although it looks very free flowing, it's actually quite a systematic way of playing. So Raheem Sterling's meant to always be running on the end of those cutbacks, probably gets about 3 chances per game, hence taking 3 shots per game, but still for Timo Werner to have a return like he does for 3.8 shots a game, it's very impressive indeed. Right, let's talk about dribbles per game. All of these players can dribble very well indeed, and they're all pretty similar actually when it comes to take-ons completed per game, both Timo Werner and Raheem Sterling complete 1.8 dribbles per game, which is pretty good for relatively direct players. And Mohamed Salah comes in at second with 1.7, but not far behind at all. Generally, they're all very good at dribbling. Right, next up, let's talk about some passing. And the really important metric here, if you're a creative player, is key passes. And another one, another metric where Timo Werner and Raheem Sterling are exactly the same, they make 1.5 key passes per game which is actually pretty good for the kind of direct goal scoring players that they generally are 1.5 key passes Mohamed Salah wins this one though with 1.8 key passes. Next up, pass success rate. And it's quite freaky how a lot of these players are exactly the same in many ways. Both Mohamed Salah and Timo Werner have a pass success rate of 76%, which is not that great, but because they're sort of risky, I don't know, direct players, it kind of makes sense how they're 76%. I actually think Timo Werner's might go up a little bit when he arrives at Chelsea, but still, when you're scoring goals, it doesn't really matter. Raheem Sterling wins this one though as a Pep Guardiola systemic player. He has a pass percentage accuracy of 82%, which is very good for a forward. And yeah, he takes this one. Next up, successful crosses per game. And it's another metric where two players are exactly the same. Both Raheem Sterling and Mohamed Salah make 0.3 successful crosses per game. Where Timo Werner wins this one with 0.5. He makes a successful cross every other game. Not great, but it shows that he has a better crossing ability than the other two. And basically looks to play in on running players to head a goal in or switch play. And with long balls again, which is essentially long passes. Timo Werner wins yet again. Mohamed Salah and Raheem Sterling only make 0.3 long balls each per game. When Timo Werner's making 0.7, nearly double as much. So when it comes to service, whether it's crosses or long balls, Timo Werner wins in both those metrics. So when it comes to this comparison today that I've done with all these different metrics, Timo Werner wins. He's actually quite clear. I've used who scored today for their data comparison and they've also given Timo Werner the highest who scored score above the other two. So Timo time wins, of course. Yes, yet again, it's in the Bundesliga, but he's performed very well in the Champions League as well. And he's the youngest of the bunch. And in terms of his positional versatility and his incredible direct style of play, it looks like an absolute madness. All right, let's close this statistical comparison screen. I wanted to reiterate why I've done this video. Like I said, the big intention of Chelsea Football Club, the current part of their project, the plan is to bridge the gap between both teams, Liverpool and Manchester City, who have both been excellent and very much set the level the last couple of seasons. And to do that, you need to match quality. Frank Lampard may have an ethos, may have a plan, but he needs quality to match it. Mohamed Salah is quality as a finishing player in that system under Klopp. Raheem Sterling is an excellent footballer. They're both wide forwards that can rotate down the middle, much like Timo Werner, who's a young player who's looking to pick up the mantle of that kind of role at Chelsea Football Club. And actually, more like those two, play quite direct, unlike Eden Hazard, who was more of just a creative superstar Galactico footballer. Timo Werner can play the role that Mohamed Salah has played under Jurgen Klopp in terms of being a direct dagger, finisher, goal scorer. But like you saw in these comparative metrics I've shown you today, he can actually do a little bit more on top. So it's very, very promising indeed. If you've watched my recent videos talking about Timo Werner, I've cited people like Raphael Honigstein talking about the player as a very professional young man with an incredible drive to develop and get better. So it's incredibly exciting times for Chelsea Football Club fans and we can expect an absolute 
gunman to playing on the left flank or down the middle. It's incredibly exciting. Anyway, what do you guys think? I want to get your thoughts on the player and this statistical comparison I've done in this video. Get down into the comment section below and let me know your thoughts and the, what I've spoken about today. I'm always down in the comment section below reading what you've said, you know, commenting back, liking. So make sure you do go comment down there as well. And if you've enjoyed this video I've provided for you guys today, please do like the video. That means a lot, man. And of course, a quick reminder as well to subscribe if you're new because a lot of you aren't subscribed, yet you keep coming back, man. So please do subscribe to Football Therapy. And of course, you are indeed welcome to follow me on the social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. <laughs> right, that is it for me, you guys. Enjoy the football that is starting soon, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me baby